of AD and DT with Athletics Director Bob Beretta and myself, Dan Tortora. Normally, we're both suited up, <laughs> but I decided for today's news that I was going to dress down, put on this sweatshirt that I got, get this nice hat going, and say a very special Division One fins up. How are you, Bob? I'm excellent, Dan. How are you today? I'm doing very well. Congratulations. Yeah, thank, you. thank you very much. Big day here on the Heights. We started having conversations about realignment, reclassification, sitting in this spot months ago. And it feels like it was like years ago. <laughs> it I mean, does feel like it was years ago. <laughs> it, it's been a long process for sure. So what's, what's it been like from the first time we sat here and you said we're going to talk about realignment and reclassification, I got excited, and now we're sitting here today on May 10th of 2023 and this is a Division One institution. Yes, well, we will be after the four-year yeah. reclassification yeah. period, but uh, we have announced our intent to reclassify to Division One, and we've accepted an invitation from the Northeast Conference, and, and hopefully we'll, we'll gain full membership after four years, but we will compete as NEC members beginning this fall. We're excited. Uh, thank you so much to Noreen Morris and the presidents of the NEC for having the confidence, faith, and trust in Lemoyne and our leadership to, to offer, extend the invitation, and before I go any further, I have to thank our president, Dr. Linda Lemura, our board of chair, uh, our board of trustees chair, Pete DeLora, our past board of trustees chair, Bob Reclitus, our ad hoc committee on athletics reclassification, 15 to 20 folks that were on that throughout the course of uh, the past year. Without this team in place, uh, none of this would be possible. And I do have to mention Joe Grasso as well, our, our uh, VP for finance and CFO, he's just, uh, been amazing throughout this entire process, but it has been long and it's been thorough. We had a, a lengthy discernment that began uh, last January, I'd say. We really started to dive into this and then I think it was a very thoughtful process. It was a very inclusive process. We were very public and transparent throughout the process and then things have been a little quiet here recently, but it was that way by design as you enter this process, you really need to try to pull back. And, and be careful with the sensitivities of the topic for all involved. Yeah. And uh, today we were able to make a public announcement. Yeah, you know, and, and I'm so elated for Lemoyne. And what the, so this is this is a moment that I got to have that's very special to me. Is right after I got the news, wrote the article, put out a video. My dad came over to the house. My dad is a is a Lemoyne alum. And when we signed our exclusive multimedia marketing partnership a couple of years ago, I brought my dad on campus and we did the announcement together. Today, I walked outside holding my dog in my arms and I said, congratulations, Pop. And he looked up at me and I said, Lemoyne's D1. And I told him something was coming, but I couldn't tell him until, <laughs> until right before noon today. And so I came outside and I said, congratulations, Dad. I said, you're now, you're now D1 with Lemoyne. And he looked at me and he goes, I figured. <laughs> and so it was really, really such a special, really special and very cool moment to be able to walk outside and hug my dad and give him a kiss on the cheek and, and tell him that his alma mater's Division One. You know, it's those kinds of stories, Dan, that are really heartwarming. We've heard, uh, had a session with our board of trustees, uh, executive committee a little bit earlier after the announcement, and, and they're excited, they're, they're fired up. Our alums from all over the country, my phone, my email's been blowing up, and I'll get back if I haven't gotten back to you yet. By the time <laughs> you see this, I will get back to you. Uh, but it's been uh, amazing. It's been a, a, a transformational moment in time for this college. I believe that. I believe it's, it's uh, much more than athletics. This is something that strategically will help position our college for future growth and success. I, I do believe athletics can serve that purpose and uh, really excited about where we uh, landed on this and, and how we went through the process. And, and again, the leadership here at the college has been amazing, yeah. so supportive, and without the leadership of President Lemire, not, none of this would be possible. So bring us into, there's that four-year hiatus. So you're going to become, in the upcoming seasons here, you're going to be in the NEC, in the Northeast Conference. So to everybody looking from the outside in, you're an NEC institution, but there's a two-year hiatus of playing in NEC Conference Championships, 
and there's a four year right now with being able to advance to the NCAA tournament of any kind and then in the men's lacrosse world they have to go independent for a year. Yeah, I mean it, none of that is ideal and we know that going in we know those are the terms that we signed up for and agreed to but uh, at some point if, if you're going to look for a, uh, to make a long-term benefit for the institution you're, you're going to have to go through some adversity and we know that some of our current student athletes uh, may not be uh, in, impacted in the way that they would have liked coming here and, and we, we our heart goes out to them we're, we're very empathetic towards that and we're going to try to do everything in our power to make sure these next several years are special for them in terms of their daily experiences and where they play and, and how we treat um, our programs and resource our programs here right now uh, but we also know that from a long-term standpoint we feel strongly that this is the right move this positions the institution in a way that that we haven't been able to previously I think it'll elevate the profile of the institution not just in central New York but across the region certainly a strong footprint now down in New York City in the metropolitan area with so many of the NEC schools having a membership down in that region so I think strategically you have to look at this well beyond the realm of athletics because that's how we looked at it from the start and again we had some of the highest levels of folks in the ecosystem here at Lemoyne College uh, involved in this process and, and in this discernment and uh, I was just blessed to be part of it and, and really thankful and grateful for the leadership displayed by uh, the people in leadership roles here on campus. And you were so public about, I mean, you and I shared so much. Uh, Dr. Linda Lemire, the president here, she came on the show and we got to speak on it. But you did so many open forums and involved current student athletes, involved families, involved alumni, and wanted to hear from the people so many meetings. And in, there's other institutions that they're going to make this decision behind closed doors. They're going to do what they feel is best for everybody. And whether or not those people have opinion, is you know inconsequential in the case of Lemoyne you wanted to hear everybody out and I know that you know everyone that you mentioned in this leadership of Lemoyne College and and then to you know speak on like really sitting with you and Linda I mean this this was a grueling process it was an exhausting process and you heard everything good bad and in between yeah we continue to hear everything good bad <laughs> and in between and you know not everyone is in favor of this move but I can tell you that our ad hoc committee our, our ad hoc committee gained un unanimity when we voted. Yeah. Uh, the board of trustees was near unanimous in, in the vote. So this was something that uh, you know we listened and we, we discussed and we pained over this decision. And I can tell you, we negotiated hard with the NEC uh, on this partnership. So we thought, we put great thought into this and, and we know that uh, there are folks that don't feel this is the right move, whether it affects them in the short term personally or in the long term personally and we understand that and we're going to listen and try to make uh, those experiences as, as positive as possible but at the end of the day when faced with uh, an opportunity that you feel is going to benefit the institution over the long haul you have to act in favor of that it's a bold move it's a bold move by the leadership here at Lemoyne it's a bold move for our student athletes for our coaches for our staff and I think we're ready to accept that challenge. We're having an amazing spring season here on the Heights with our athletic teams achieving at such a high level. And I just think that our students deserve to be challenged and tested at the highest level of, co of collegiate athletics. And, and th this is going to be an exciting time here uh, for all involved, not just those directly involved in athletics, but I think overall this will have a, the, res the end state of elevating all elements of our college. You said we're ready. Why is Lemoyne ready? Yeah, we're ready. I, I think that we've done great work here the past two years in preparing ourselves and building upon an unbelievable foundation that's been in place. And, and I, I'm going to say this in, in our comments tomorrow, uh, you know, when, when we speak publicly again, but I, I feel like we can't forget our past. We have to embrace and celebrate the, all the success, all the student athletes that have passed through that have worn the gold and green previously. And it's due to that success that has allowed us to entertain such an opportunity as this to, to elevate the athletics program here. So we will never forget our Division II heritage, the successes that we experienced. We're gonna value and treasure and cherish those and celebrate those moments. But I do feel very strongly that we're gonna create new moments and have new championships to celebrate over time at the Division I level. So it's just an exciting, it's, a, it's an exciting time to be in Dolphin. 
uh, and there's so many great things going on here at the campus at Lemoyne College. This is just another one of those elements that continue to, to rise us uh, and hopefully differentiate ourselves from some of our competitors in the region. Yeah, you know, and, and for this move to happen and step forward into what you're stepping into, like you said, there's so many different things that go along with this and there's the heritage, but there's also the excitement of what's to come. Why was the NEC such a good fit? I mean, we've seen them welcome Merrimack, we've seen them welcome Stonehill, Noreen Morris, it, before I had even met Bob Beretta, Noreen, there's a thing I do called Commissioner Connection, and all around the country I speak with commissioners, and I happen to want to build a relationship with the NEC, got to meet Noreen, so I was speaking with her well before this, and you know, built respect for her way back in the NEC. Why was the NEC the right home and the right fit? You know, Dan, it's a, it's a great question. And first of all, Noreen Morris is a big reason for it. She's outstanding, a tremendous leader. Uh, so thankful to her for her mentorship and guidance through this process as she stewarded us through this. But also the presidents of the NEC, we had an opportunity to meet with them and, and present to them. And we just feel like the missions uh, by that group as a whole aligns very well with the mission of, of Lemoyne. We're here uh, to serve our communities, to serve the missions of the institution. We're like-minded institutions, and we love the geographic footprint of the NEC. We love having a strong foothold in the New York metropolitan area. We, we still have uh, a presence in Boston with Stonehill and Merrimack. So if you look at the NEC, it's got a strong foothold in the number one television market in the country, which is New York City. It has a strong foothold in uh, Boston, which is the number eight market. It has a foothold in the number nine market, which is Washington, D.C., uh, top 35 market in New Haven. And uh, so we just feel like it's gonna add to our exposure. It's gonna increase the profile of the college. And we also feel like Syracuse is, is ready to explode with Micron's investment in the area in central New York. Right now, I believe Syracuse is the 88th ranked uh, household in the country in terms of the Nielsen ratings that number is going to skyrocket. So when I talk about we feel like we're prepared, yeah. we feel like Lemoyne's prepared, the college, the athletic department, we've done much work on the infrastructure within our department the past several years to put us in position to take this next step, but we also feel like Central New York and Syracuse is poised for an explosion. And we feel like there's room in this market for two <laughs> Division One institutions and, and, and we're, we're going to be the second here uh, beginning July 1. So yeah, July 1st, 2023, big time movement, and you and I have gone through this process, I mean, really together, from the time that we started our exclusive multimedia marketing partnership. Really, I mean, that's it's been, it's been most of that time that we've been sitting here. Yeah, <clears throat> excuse me, Dan, yeah, and I can't thank you enough because you've been with us every step of the way uh, through, through all the trials and tribulations, the open for, the talks, the discussions, the deliberations, the considerations, and uh, no one's covered it like you have, and, and I know that you're on the forefront of this news today, so congratulations on, on that. Thank you for being so supportive and, and providing us this platform to tell the Dolphin story and put us in, help us, uh, help to put us in position to make this leap today. Well, you know, I couldn't do it without you and Linda and, and everybody here, the student athletes, the coaches that have given me tremendous, tremendous stories. and just wonderful people here on the Heights where greatness meets goodness is a real thing. It's not just a quote. And on the Heights has a very special, special meaning to me. And there's a lot of great things happening here on the Heights. So before we go, I have a couple things to say. First and foremost, year three of our exclusive multimedia marketing partnership covering the D1 now. That's thanks, pretty cool, right? Thanks to all of this. That's a good thing. And I have to show this. When Bob and I signed this partnership to be the exclusive multimedia marketing partner of Lemoyne, he gave me this. And this, this coin, this Lemoyne gold coin, I have kept with me is a very special memento. And anywhere I go and anything I do, to me, this is one of my most prized possessions because it came from you, because you don't give a lot out to many, and because it means something. So this is in my pocket today and it actually was sitting right in my house. When I get ready in the morning, it's sitting right there on the counter. So I'm very proud of, of these 
moments and these things and the things that signify friendship and, and what goes well beyond everything we've done. So thank you for that. Well, Dan, it's a, it's a coin to uh, express excellence and recognize excellence and uh, no one is more deserving on uh, receiving a coin for excellence than you are. So thank you so much and we appreciate the friendship. We, we appreciate the partnership and we look forward to telling more great stories of Division One Lemoyne student athletes. So we will say for the first time ever together, fins up to Division One. Fins up to D1. Talk with you soon. Take care.